I think this is a great opportunity for people of different faiths to come together to promote interfaith harmony, to promote understanding of Islam, because uh, people have a lot of misunderstandings about our faith. And I think if we bring people together, especially at a forum like Oxford University, it really opens the minds up of people. And people can see that we as Muslims believe in the basic values of humanity, peace, tolerance, and uh, interfaith harmony. So I think this conference is a great idea. And I was, I've been told that Sarawak had a major involvement here, which is good. Sarawak is an important part of the world, an uh, important part of Malaysia. They have a uh, uh, major role to play as an energy supplier, natural resource supplier. So if they come to forums like this, I think it's good for the world to know what they are. Their success story was, naturally they had huge energy reserves and natural resources in terms of logging, etc. So that attracted people to come. It also is a center for tourism. And uh, I think the, the state government uh, must be complimented for building the brand. And of course, the government, uh, federal government, because without the federal government umbrella, it is very difficult for a state to operate. So I think it's an excellent example of cohesion, partnership, and understanding between the federal government and the state government. And uh, I can assume there's good governance on both sides to make this a success story. So I think we, we should be proud of what they've achieved and other countries and other states can learn from it. The sign of wisdom is to learn from each other. Mm -hmm. And uh, wisdom has no exclusive, uh, which means that you can learn from a developed country, you can learn from a developing country, I think the example of what Malaysia has achieved and Sarawak has achieved is, uh, is really universally applicable. Opening up their country, reforming, uh, allowing different... Uh, and really, Malaysia is the best example of interfaith harmony. You have all faiths there living in peace with each other. And I think every country in the world can learn from that.